Welcome everybody to our new Bluebird School Bus and I have an unboxing video to show you guys this is a new piece of equipment that we will be using in our Bluebird Schoolie conversion. This is a 12 volt DC fridge freezer, dual zone freezer that you can run off of a simple little solar power station. This is something we lived out of a cooler for three years with ice and all that crap. And if we had gotten a 12 volt fridge freezer sooner, it would have really like made our life less complicated. They are awesome. I don't think I'll ever go without one. So we just received this in the mail from a company called Viver. You might be familiar with the name Viver from diesel heaters. A lot of people use the Viver heaters in their vehicles, their RVs, their van conversions. And as a matter of fact, I have a Viver brand diesel heater in my bread truck and it's awesome. We use it constantly through the winter and it's super convenient. So that's the way I know the name Viver. But let me take this apart a little bit and I'll show you a little bit more. Take out the styrofoam, take out the plastic bag. And here we have a 12 volt chest fridge freezer. Oh yeah, does it say Viva on that side? No, okay, let me flip it around for you. And I'll show you what it looks like inside. So this is a Viva brand fridge. It is 12 volt, but you can also use 110 volt with this as well. I believe there's an adapter, so you can plug it into a house or whatever you'd like. Yeah, inside there is a little box here. It has the 110 adapter plug. This is for 110. You can just plug it into a home, which is super convenient. And it has this 12 volt, really long cable for plugging it into a cigarette adapter port. Uh, if you would like to wire this directly into your uh, solar power station panel, you can simply cut this cord off and use the bare wire and wire it right into a DC panel. That's actually what I did in the bread truck because we don't plan on ever taking that fridge out. So I'll just put these back in the box for now. And I'll show you what it looks like inside this fridge. Come over here and take a look. This is the control panel. I've heard that this has app control too, so there'll be an app for your phone once this turns on. It actually has a USB port. You can charge your phone from the fridge when it's plugged in. And it's dual zone, so there's controls for the big zone and there's controls for the smaller zone inside. This is what it looks like. Oh, they're actually both really big zones. So this is the bigger zone. I thought this would be the smaller size, but it's actually a little bigger than the other one. Um, you could set either one of these however you'd like. You can use this one as a freezer, or you can use this one as a freezer, use one as a fridge. You could use both as a fridge, both as a freezer, however you'd like to do it. If you'd like to have just one zone, you could take this little uh, divider out. There's a magnet in this that tells the fridge whether it's in one or two, uh, you know, two zone mode. And you can have just one big zone or you can leave it in. It has these nice baskets that you can remove because a chest fr fridge, you know, you have to bury stuff down here. So maybe the things you don't access as much or frozen meats and things you want to keep at the bottom. You can pull these whole baskets out and set them aside uh, it's kind of nice you can pull all your food out and clean your fridge and it has drain plug a drain plug at the bottom you could pull these out clean it without having to like actually rearrange all your food you just keep the baskets in there and do that this fridge has actually a little light so when you turn it, when you open the lid, the light comes on so you can see inside your fridge. That's a pretty cool feature. Where's the light? Uh, it's over here. There's a light this way, so it doesn't shine in your eyes. Um, mm -hmm. It just kind of casts a little light in here, which is cool because a lot of times you're in low light situations. But that's it. It has uh, wheels on the back. So if you're going to be moving this around, we don't plan on moving it very much. 
but it does have these wheels that you could take it on a picnic or something like that, take it to your uh, destination if you're out in the woods camping. So let me flip this around. I'll show you how it plugs in. Hang on, let me reset. Oh, those are cool handles. Yeah, I get, this handle's a little bit different. It's a little longer so that if you're gonna pick it up on the wheels, you have a little bit longer reach. Mm -hmm. This one's a short handle, but if you're gonna be carrying it, um, mm -hmm. you know, you could just carry it like that and they're, they're equal distance. But yeah, it's kind of cool. All right, so I'm gonna take the 12 volt DC plug and plug this into the fridge and we'll get it powered on and make sure everything's working properly. One thing that's really nice is the plug that they include is a 90 degree plug so you don't have a, a wire sticking straight out of the side. When I plug this in I'll show you what I mean. Uh, it goes this way. So it goes in just like that, so it's nice and slim, you don't have a wire sticking straight out the side that you're inevitably going to bump and like probably rip off. I have this small Blue Eddy power station, the EB70S, uh, it's very small but it can easily run this refrigerator. I'm going to plug this in here, I just heard the fridge make a beep and it powered on. They have a 90 degree plug for the 12 volt. Uh, side as well for the um, for the cigarette adapter so it's nice to have that I like the 90 degree turn so that you don't have something sticking straight out so this is already powered on this shows you what the voltage is the temperature inside right now it's reading that we have 83 degrees on one side 78 on the other side um, this was just sitting out in the hot sun so this is very warm but this will be dropping in temperature very quickly. On camera, it looks flashy, but it's not flashy it's in real not life. In real life. So you can see right here, it says max. If I hit the gear button, it changes. So I can change it from max to eco. And what that does is it doesn't make the compressor run quite as hard. The difference between eco mode and max mode is about a 20 watt difference. Eco mode will pull about 45 watts from your power source. Max mode will pull about 65 watts from your power source. I like max mode, so I'm gonna switch it back to max and leave it there. I always use max mode because I have plenty of power. On my Blue Eddy power station, it does show how much output is happening. And with the fridge plugged in alone by itself, it's pulling about 70 watts, 72 watts around that. It's working really hard right now because it's going from a very high temperature to a very low temperature. So uh, 75 watts is about what it pulls. It won't do that at all times. It'll definitely calm down once it gets to temperature and it doesn't pull 75 watts continuously. It's only when the compressor kicks on, it'll kick back off. And then when it's off, it's not using any power. So it's really, you know, they're very, very efficient when it comes to cooling way better than like a dorm fridge or a fridge made for a house the plus and minus you can just lower the temperature right now it came from the factory set at 42 degrees 41 degrees i'm gonna go ahead and set this all the way down to zero and you can hold it down i think yeah and it just goes quickly and oh it goes all the way down to five degrees but i did notice when changing this one it changed that one as well so um, I think maybe, oh, look at that. It goes mm. below. Maybe the temperature difference can't be that great. So I have them both set at negative four degrees right now. And we'll see how cold it gets. When I open this up, it should already be a little bit chilly. Yeah, I can feel it's getting a little, a little cool in here already. Mm -hmm. And you can see the light if you come around, flip it, come around. You can see that the light is on in there when I open the door, which is a cool little feature. Our old fridge doesn't have that, so that's cool. So I'm going to leave this closed and let this cool down for quite a while and just kind of see how cold it gets. Maybe throw some water in there so I can have some cool drinking water for uh, these hot days that we're in right now. But I want to thank Viver for sponsoring this video. Check out Viver. Their website is cool. 
it's kind of like a Harbor Freight, I would have to say. They have a wide range of many different tools, and all of those tools are way cheaper than you would get at like, you know, regular big box stores like Home Depot and whatever. Uh, I want to do some blacksmithing. They have anvils, they have kilns and furnaces to like melt metal for smelting. Uh, that's one thing I'm really interested in. They have a lot of tools for homesteaders, and if you need a cheap tool to get the job done, Beaver's a good place to check. If you look in the description of this video below, there'll be a link where you can get a discount on the products that they sell, and uh, take a look at all the wide range of stuff they have. They have refrigerators, they have these in every size that you can think of, down to 20 quart, up to 85 quart. Tons of stuff at, at Beaver.com. So check out Beaver. Thank you for sponsoring this video, Beaver, and I will show you a long-term review of this fridge when we start using it a little bit more in the school bus. I'm thinking we're gonna have it in a place, something like this maybe. This wheel well is kind of useless space, so if I can build a little platform for it, it may live kind of like right here. Our kitchen's gonna be here. It's scooted back a little bit right now, but we're setting this up as a temporary living situation so that we can build our tiny house cabin and we needed a place to stay because i've sold the bread truck the bread truck is being delivered on may 21st out to colorado so we're going to be homeless if we didn't have something so i bought this bluebird school bus we're setting it up right now in a temporary quick manner and the fridge that is in the bread truck's going with it so this beaver uh fridge is going to be replacing it it's actually an upgrade. We have a 45 quart fridge in the bread truck. This is a 63 quart fridge. So Beaver says this is a really hot selling item that they fly off the shelves. So if you want to get one of these fridges, check them out. I believe the sale price on this was $306 when I checked the last time. So that's a really good deal. The one that we have in the bread truck is a five, it's a 45 quart fridge and we paid over $500 for it. So the prices are coming down on these types of 12 volt fridges. If you're living out of cooler, I really urge you to get one of these 12 volt fridges. They are game changers. It will revolutionize your life. And you'll be able to eat better having one of these fridges with fresh fruits and vegetables and all that kind of stuff. So it's really a big improvement over an ice chest fridge, uh, cooler, you know, way, way better. Anything else I should say, babe? Beaver Las, Las Spacious. Beaver Las Van Build. <laughs> <laughs> Beaver, Beaver Las Van Build. <laughs>